Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? Welcome to my Fallout 76 Let's Talk video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about some uh, patch 9 notes which are gonna be given to us in May next week. I'll tell you the exact date because I just flipped out of my head. I think it's 7th of May. But I'm gonna show you the patch notes right now. And it's actually in regards to player vendoring and legendary machines. So it's gonna be machines. And at the end of the video, I have a personal request. Uh, that will ask you. <laughs> so let's not wasting any more time and jump right into it. Alright, so here we are. Fallout 76 inside the vault patch 9 preview. Right? I'm gonna have the link uh, down in the video description plus I'm gonna have it pinned in the top comments so you guys can uh, come to this page and review it. The reason why I decided to make a video straight after the stream today is because I noticed that not a lot of YouTubers actually covered this topic so I kinda decided to, you know what, let me jump in. Although I'm not that superb and uh, super chit chatter on <laughs> Fallout 4, uh, 76 stuff. Oh, sorry about it. I'm just we just had a good stream and uh, a lot of talks about Fallout games and other stuff. So, uh, getting off topic. Let's get back to business. So we got the player vendoring machines and we got the legendary exchange machines over here. I am I am stupid and I hate myself and I'll explain to you in a moment. <laughs> So basically player vendoring machines, to what I understand is that you will be able to build these sort of machines here in your camp and uh, users will be able to come and uh, purchase items that you've neither found, you crafted, so as long as I understand uh, over here it says by making a profit by selling items you have made or found during your adventures. So that's cool. Also, visit other dwellers camps. Okay, so basically I can also visit your camp and see what you're selling, right? So that is a pretty cool idea. Personally, I thought they was going to uh, allow us to build some sort of a robot that's going to sit there. And uh, actually, that would be perfect for my new camp, <laughs> for the bar station, uh, which I have, one second, right over there. <laughs> Not sure if you can see it. I thought you can put a robot and, uh, you know, the robot would sell the stuff that uh, you want and you don't want, <laughs> right? All right, let me uh, sort of jump back to what we have here and some more information that you can walk through because I am sorry I'm, I'm a really really bad out loud reader plus I'm a little bit of shy alright so legendary exchange machines now I'm gonna tell you why I'm an idiot you see I had saved up a lot of three stars uh, whatever level junk uh, weapons armors and so on and I threw them away because I thought this day would never gonna come <laughs> it came so fast is I actually got rid of my stuff like three weeks ago tops because you know we have this issue with uh, our stash limits are stuck on 800 and already coming to this point it's already hard to use it I mean I've been playing since beta and I remember I, is like it was 200 was it 400 I don't remember and I'm asking my question how the hell did we survive with those stash limits anyway coming back to the point so basically you will have this uh, legendary machine right from where to what I understand you can buy uh, legendaries but not for caps you will be able to buy it or exchange new for a new type of currency which they call legendary script and then op for submitting your legendary items so let's see how that all is gonna work out I'm pretty not sure how it all gonna go <laughs> so basically you break them down for the unwanted legendaries into scripts I wonder how much they will give for one star legendaries and other stuff plus during the streams that I've been doing for the past few days we started to ask a question where the hell is all the legendary loot <laughs> yeah I mean I personally noticed I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you also noticed that uh, actually tell me have you noticed that the amount of legendary like three star loot it became way smaller for the past like week or maybe even two you know so yeah so maybe that's because this was coming <laughs> that, that answers the question <laughs> Although, one time I got uh, from an event th three legendaries in one spawn. Two of them were three stars and one of them was two star. And I was shocked. And that actually happened like two days ago. 
So yeah, uh, uh, then patch 9 was still alive, you will be able to find legendary exchange machines at the train stations around the Palacia. Alright, so these uh, machines are going to be in every single train station. Load up your inventory with legendary items and no longer want to keep, place them in the machine and then collect your scripts. The higher uh, the star rating your legendary item, the more scripts you will receive. The more legendary scripts you have uh, when Pi Pryagon arrives. Okay, I think that's the vendor. Uh, okay, now that makes perfect sense. The more legendary weapons or armor you will be able to buy. So basically, you exchange uh, for scripts and then you will be able to buy them we will have more details to share uh, next week hope the additional exchange machines will help you free up some stuff okay got it all right now it makes more sense because I'm sorry I didn't have time to dive into all the details here before I can start excuse me here <laughs> so basically uh, we will have the ability to free up our stash from legendaries that we don't want for scripts but we will not be able to buy legendary stuff for some time maybe as they state here they will have updates uh, for us next week but that's all it's already better than nothing <laughs> I'll put it this way once again if I mispronounce something I do apologize for that I am from Ukraine so I do sometimes mispronounce so when I only got started I was, I was mispronouncing lead with lead <laughs> I was like saying it's lead and then no dude it's lead I'm like ah oh. so it took me some time to get used to saying it lead 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 oh. anyway and then there are some more updates on and fixes I believe so that is this is what I like what is coming to display cases which will allow us to display weapons bubble heads magazines that we find in your camp now that's cool I wonder if this will also work for power armors because I recently decided to get myself those power armors because uh, I don't use power armors but I decided to get them just because of this one new skin that arrived to us this week uh, the war raider and I was even thinking of switching my build to the power armor build but then I kind of like decided uh, you know it was a bad idea you know <laughs> so maybe some other time when I don't know they will give us legendary power armor pieces then I'm most likely gonna change <laughs> my build but that's pretty much it remember guys that I'll have this link down in the video description and the comment pinned comment so you will be able to uh, dive in here and read it in more details and this patch is coming on May 7th now the request that I wanted to ask you uh, recently is I've reached the 1000 subs right so I finally got access to the community feature I was waiting for this for such a long time for those who are under a thousand subs we have a discussion feature here which is pretty much useless <laughs> nobody ever comes here but when you use the community feature it's sort of your uh, like feed section you can see I only got two posts here and this is what my request is all about I actually want to bring back uh, some let's plays and uh, I do have all the explanation here and I would ask you to vote if you want these let's plays back or not and what type of let's plays one video per week or one live stream per week and uh, to my what I want to do let's plays for is Skyrim special edition or legendary difficulty actually plus survival mode I'm gonna have to edit this in a bit and uh, follow up for survival mode so these are the games that I want to do let's plays for. If you have uh, any good ideas or some other games that you think that will be cool, list them down here in the comments under this section. So the game that gets the most attention, uh, we will add them because once this vote will expire on the 17th of May, uh, we will end if we all vote yes. That means if if this be doesn't become more than all of it. <laughs> If we all vote yes, then we're going to vote for the game. Once we vote for the game, depending on the game that we voted, uh, we're going to vote for a bill. So I just want to sort of be more more chit chatty with all of you. want to get your feedback, want to see how all this is going to go. And you know what? Actually, just an idea was just born as I was talking. Uh, maybe I'm even going to use the community section to pre sort of uh, write our history for the next episode of the uh, let's play 
right? For example, for example, if we start Skyrim uh, and I run out from all this, uh, the first location, blah blah blah, we see the dragon, let's say the episode ends there, then most probably I just come, come here, hey guys, what do you think I should do next? Go join Duck Brotherhood, go do that, go follow the main scenario and so on. So this idea was just born. Anyway, any suggestions or your feedbacks, very important to me, so if you think something would be cool please do take your time to uh, listen down in the comments I respond to every single comment that I receive and because you know I value your time you're you're spending and dedicating your time to watch a video of mine why shouldn't I spend my time to read your comment and reply to it right so I tried and do my best to respond to every single comment and here is a little uh, uh, sort of note don't use f bombs or s h i a t or anything like that that get flagged. Uh, those comments I read them, but I can't respond to them because I will not approve those ones. So no f bombs. <laughs> if you want me to, exp <laughs> to <laughs> reply back to you, just good English. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Oh my god. Anyway, guys, thank you, thank you for watching, and you all have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys are located, and I'll see you on the next video. And gotta say it again, this is cool update. I just can't wait until this game grows bigger and bigger and bigger. I have so many hopes for Fallout 76, and I hope you do, you do have the same. All right, gamers, Z Soul, signing out. You'll have a good one. Bye.